miss, I'm a motherfucking miss, I'm a miss, I'm a miss, I'm a motherfucking miss, I'm a miss, I'm a miss, I'm a motherfucking miss, I'm a miss, I'm a miss, I'm a miss. What's up, Shady Crew? Back at it again with another reaction video, man. And we have another heavily requested video, man. Um, this is an artist we've never reacted to before on this channel. Goes by the name of 100 Kufis. Um, and I thought the Nick Cannon thing was dead in the water. Of course, with the Mises diss and uh, various others hopping on his neck, Dwayne TV. I thought it was over, man. But apparently, it's not over just yet. So, hopefully this is the last video in regards to the whole Nick Cannon thing. And we can dead that issue. Jump into 2020. You know, fill in the vibes. Um, but yeah, man. Um, we're going to check this out because you guys requested uh, that we take a look at this. So, um, we're going to hop into it and see uh, what he's talking about in this, man. I was told that I would really like... Uh, the flow style and uh, the bars in this track so we're gonna check it out man um hopefully it's lit of course we won't know if it is or if it isn't isn't until the end of the video so uh yeah let's hop in man so if you're new to the channel please just enjoy the ride and we're gonna hop into it man so without further ado let's get it This shit on these niggas call it custodian. You know them niggas bold and they grew up on Nickelodeon. You know my temper short, you fucking with the Napoleon. Dynamite explode while you standing up at the podium. You should have took my homie's advice when he said I'm the illest. Mm. Already? Jeez. Uh, shitting on these niggas gonna need a custodian. You niggas nick it. What? Wait, what? Wait, hold up. Run that back, cause I, I I think I missed it. Let let's. Custodian, you know them niggas fold, and he grew up on Nickelodeon. You know. Ah, you know them niggas fold, and they grew up on Nickelodeon. All right, so we gonna have this is gonna be heavily Nick puns, bruh. But I do I definitely like his um the way that he sets up his bars, man. Um, and uh, it. Hey, he's dropping bars in this, man. You can't even knock it, bruh. So far, it's lit, man. Let's go. You fucking with the Napoleon. Dynamite explode while you standing up at the podium. You should have took my homie's advice when he said I'm the illest nigga ever holding a mic. Honey, Kofi, and Eminem is like Kobe and Mike. Now I'm bringing it to your door like you owe me a fight. Come on, Sean. I'm sorry. Wait, what? Did he say him and M is like Kobe and Mike? Ah. <laughs> That would be the craziest and illest squad ever known to man if Kobe and Mike actually got to play on the same team. Shoot, they were playing in different divisions even when it came to the All-Star game. So we got to see them against each other. We never actually got a chance to really see them play on the same team. That would be bananas, bro. Uh, <laughs> but I would definitely tune in to watch that. But um, he said, look, man, I told y'all... Look, my homie told you I was nice, man. Got that Napoleon complex stand up at the podium, bro. Like, he ready for war, bro, in this track. Uh, definitely digging the bars, man. The punchlines are definitely there, man. Salute the Kufis, man. Dropping this heat. Door like you owe me a fight. Come on, son. Now get it right. I'm going to show you how to spit it right. Seven years in a pen. I don't need a pen to write. This is life. I don't think you want to get Ooh. me home. I'll be sitting in your bushes waiting for a nick at night. And I ain't leaving the trail. I'll be at your... I'll be sitting in your bushes looking at a looking for a Nick at night. Oh my gosh, bro. Why is everybody trying to press Nick, bro? Listen, calm down, bro. Nick is not about that, bro. <laughs> He's not about that at all, man. But it's interesting uh to hear the backstory to see like if um 100 Kufis like actually had issues with Nick before all of this took off. Um I mean, it's a dope bar, but of course uh, as far as like the track itself, but you know, after so many people come out, it's like, okay, so what's your affiliation? We don't want to look at a hundred Kufis like we did the Black Squad hopping in a fight that doesn't really belong to you. You feel me? Um, but I think that uh, he might actually have an issue with Nick himself because if he was saying that his partner told Nick that he, they had some type of relation, bro. There was some type of relation. For him to go at Nick's head like this. And this just proved to be the best opportunity. Kind of kicked the man while he was down. But uh, it is what it is, man. Uh, let's hop back into it. 
fuck at night. And I ain't leaving the trail. I'll be at your front door with the fat bull ringing the bell. Told the guard at the gate Ooh. we was bringing the mail. When he asked us who we were, we said Keenan and Kel. Well, ain't too many Damn. My flow sick and they couldn't find a vaccine. You coming at the rap god and you a rap queen. I ride with him and I'm still on the black team. You should have put me on while out a year ago. Since I didn't get the audition. Well, here it go. You hear the flow, now you get to listen to me now. Growling on Okay, so there it go. There it go. He 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 auditioned for uh, Wildin' Out, and uh, I guess Nick didn't put him on or didn't sign off. So he's taking this opportunity to give him these bars, bro, and let him know. Look what it says: Wildin' Out crew ain't ready. Like he ready to take every last one of them down single handedly by himself, bar for bar, and uh, you know intro to intro. But but hey. So far it's lit, man. I ain't even gonna knock him. Let's get it. Well, here we go. You hear the flow, now you get to listen to me now. Crawling on the beat like I'm coming to rip a tree down. Texas chainsaw, rings all running down his face like them bitches going AWOL. Hey y'all, I'm the lyrical Adol. So if you rockin' Jews, you know what I come to take off. And that's literally over your head, over I'm um, the lyrical Adolf. Um so if you got those Jews, you know what I'm coming to take off, bruh. Mmm, Nick, man, you I don't even know how you get yourself in these situations, bro. How you get yourself in this situation that that rappers want to come at your head and you're not even a rapper? You know what I mean? Like, that shit is wild to me because Nick is not really a rapper, man. Like, he's not a rapper. So even if Nick seen this and wanted to respond, he's not a rapper. There's not a bar that he could come up with. That would help him. Like, this shit is wild, bruh. But hey, Koof is nailing him to the cross right now. Let's go. You know what I come to take mm -hmm. off. And that's literally over your head, over some bread. Have a nigga standing over your bed with a pillow over your mouth. Ooh. I know that you're scared. You know what this shit is for. Nick, you know what you're saying. Nick, I'm a this Damn. Is Damn. It's murder. Stop. Nick, I'm a and I don't give a fuck who you got on your side. You better pray that your doors is locked. Anybody hurt you if you really want to settle this shit? I want eighty-five percent of incredible Nick. Cause most of them dudes trash. Everybody on your team looking edible, Nick. You see, I'm trying to be nice and bring the comedy. Mmm. Yo, those are fighting words. This man said, "I want eighty percent of incredible. I want eighty percent of your business, bruh." And on top of that, all of your men's look inedible, bro. Like, they could get this work, too. That shit's crazy, bro. For, and it, it, it hits a little different because, like, um, if, you, if you guys had a chance to actually see the Charlie Clips where he wanted, like, they wanted to prove themselves that they weren't just, you know, Nick's backup band, but, like, that they could rap and go at, you know, like, like they wanted to put a name out there for themselves. And this man, like, look, them niggas look edible. Like, I'll take on them one-on-one -on -one and show you that you don't got no monsters around you, my G. That shit's tough, bro. You hate to see it. <laughs> Let's go. Damn. And we don't play when it comes to this gunplay. You ride down the block, you going out one way. So you better pray like grandmama on Sunday that you don't see that copper come out of that gun. <laughs> Damn. Maybe I'm laughing, but I'm still waving this ratchet in your face. That shit real. I ain't aiming for practice. Gun blacker than Michael Blackston, better than Michael Jackson. Harassing whoever wants to be the team captain. Get whoever you want, and I promise I'm a trash. Em. For real. Get whoever you want, and I promise you I'm a trash. Em. Damn. Oh, so yeah, this was some real shit. Like, this is pictures of him actually with Nick. So yeah, he got a chance to meet him, bro. Like, <laughs> he said, pick whoever the team captain. Whoever won it first, let me know. I'll trash them. Um, damn, bro. This is crazy. Is that it? Yeah. All right, so we're going to stop it right there, man. So let's go ahead and get into this. Um, 100 Kufis, Nick Cannon disc, man. Um, this was definitely dope, man. Salute to him uh, with the bars, man. He definitely brought it in this track, bro. Held nothing back. He put the Black Squad on notice. He put Nick on notice. So he didn't leave anybody out of this at all. Like, 
He was like, yo, all of y'all can get it. He was like, all of y'all can get it, bro. So, so, my computer's acting weird. Okay, you, you, okay. But, um, yeah, so, um, he definitely, definitely bodied this one, man. Definitely brought that intensity. And then for us, because we never actually got a chance to, to hear 100 Kufus until this came about. Of course, this put him in the limelight for us to actually be able to listen to his bars. And I love the way that he sets up his bars. I love the punch lines on his bars, man. Um, he definitely be snapping on the track, bro. Now, it'll, it'll be dope to see outside of this, um, like, little, like, the rap battle style to actually hear his tracks, bro, and, like, see how he lays out his actual music, man, if the bars are actually kicking the way that they did in this diss track, man. But this was definitely dope for me, man. I definitely enjoyed the bars on this track. Um, I mean, at this point, coming at Nick is like kicking a dead body. Like, there's no real point to it at this point. Um, because it is what it is. A man bodied himself once he actually got on the mic and started rapping. So, we already seen that part. Um, but it is dope that this is actually opening up an avenue that we're getting the chance to kind of see other artists that we probably wouldn't have got a chance to see. Um, you know, come out and actually decide, you know, in this case, this was personal to him uh, because of him getting overlooked in regards to an audition. So he felt, hey, this is the perfect opportunity for him to actually listen because everybody's dropping these these uh, diss tracks. And this wasn't even him riding on M, uh, saying M is better or anything like that. No, this was him literally planting his two feet and saying, now you got to listen to me. Now let me show you what you missed out on. Now let me put you on blast and let you know what these bars are about. And then let me tell you about your boys that stand next to you. They can't see me neither. So it was definitely dope, man, on all levels. He definitely brought that intensity and tried to um, separate himself from everyone else that, um, you know, may have had like a, a issue with him based off of what he said, but it wasn't personable. This was more personable. Like he met Nick. So they had that conversation or whatever, um, and he had the receipts to show it. So um, it was definitely dope for me, man. Definitely looking to see what other tracks that 100 Kufus puts out, man, and see, you know, hopefully this kind of spears head, spearheads his, um, his career and he can do some great things, man. Uh, definitely a lyricist. Um, definitely would love to see him do, you know, some, some joints out there. He definitely knows his way around the track. So it was definitely dope for me, man. You guys, I have to let me know in the comments what you thought about this 100, 100 Kufus, uh, this track to Nick Cannon. Uh, what was, what was the hardest bar in there for you, man? That Adolf taking the, that, that, bro, that hiding in the bush, Nick at night. Like he has some punchlines, man. You can't sell them short, bro. Um, so you guys let me know what you thought about it, man, and we'll definitely hash it up in the comments, man. But we're going to keep this moving. Make sure you stay locked to this channel. Your video's coming up next. Make sure you smash that like, subscribe if you're new, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Until then, Shady Crew, stay shady out there.